going to miss hearing the gravelly voice of Dave Fairman on the air with us at about 7.10. He usually called me at like a quarter till 7 on any morning and said, hey, i got to come by. and i got something to tell. Uh, and, and so we'd have one right after the news at 7. So you're going to recognize the voice. He is Dave Fairman, the former public works director now for Indiana Borough, entering into retirement. Conversation brought to you by Marcus and Mac, a law firm representing injured people. Got nothing to do with your time now, huh? Oh, I'll, I'll find something to do with my time. <laughs> You um, were on the job for a lot of years. I was. Uh, was. How many? Um, With Indiana Borough. With Indiana Borough, actually 24 and a half plus. Yeah. I had 18 and a half plus as um, public works director. Yeah. And and before that, what did you do? I was a coal miner for 21 years. That's what I thought. I thought you were in the mines. Yep. Uh, So how's your back? (laughs) Great. I, I I am blessed. The good Lord has given me good health. That's terrific. Terrific news. So... Uh, Down through the years, of course, you have uh, been involved in practically everything that's happened above the streets and under them here in Indiana Borough. That I have. (laughs) And you've met a lot of people and uh, and had a lot of experiences, haven't you? All all good experiences. Yeah. Well, that's terrific news. Good to know. Good to know. So what do you have there? I have have a statement I like to read. Okay. Please do. Um, It's been a pleasure, honor, and privilege to serve the residents of Indiana Borough for the past 24 and a half plus years. Six which I served as a councilman for the third ward and 18 and a half plus as the public works director. During those years, I've made many contacts, both personal and business. These connections enabled me to serve to the best of my ability, which is something that gave me deep satisfaction. I would like to express to the residents, businesses, and everyone else that I have been affiliated with during those 24 and a half years that serving the wonderful town of Indiana has been a gratifying experience. So thank you for letting me represent you during the time of my service. To my staff, both past and present, that stood beside me during all the challenges that we faced from storms, pandemics, and the multitude of unforeseen occurrences. To the other department, Indiana Borough Department managers and their staff for their support. To the Indiana Borough Police Department, both past and present chiefs, officers, dispatchers, and support staff for their unwavering willingness to assist wherever possible. To George Hood, our former mayor, who served our community during my tenure, whom I am proud to call a friend. Our borough engineers, Stifler McGraw and staff, for all the technical support that they provided to mitigate the challenges during all the renovation projects. The neighboring municipalities and townships for their assistance, whether it be in the form of supplies, equipment, or collaboration, which enabled us to work as a team. Downtown Indiana for their support during special events and for working diligently to make our town welcoming to all. All the other local businesses and organizations that work together to make Indiana a better place to call home. IUP maintenance staff and engineering staff for their support. The relationships that I made with the utility companies and local contractors enabled me to fill my duties as public works director. To the employees of the Council of Governments, aka COG, whom I partner with to maintain the wastewater collection system and storm systems. To my wife, who has kept meals hot for me and accepted my crazy, unpredictable schedule. To Renda Broadcasting for offering airtime, which enabled me to keep our community abreast of all the public service announcements and also for welcoming me today to express the above comments. I could not have fulfilled my duties and responsibilities without the support and cooperation of those mentioned above, in addition to the multitude of those unnamed. Thank you, Indiana Borough. David Fairman here with us this morning. After all of these years, uh, you've you've got things to do with your time, and uh, uh, and you were telling me before that it's it's not like the grass going to grow under your feet, is it? No, <laughs> <laughs> you've got lots of things to do. You were actually uh, out east this week, this weekend, uh, last weekend, last weekend, last weekend. Yeah, 
Yeah, well, working at at your daughter's place, yep. and uh, and uh, you've got you've got some other travels coming. I do. Uh, you, you should have them move closer. You know, I, that would be nice. <laughs> but, but if if they did, you'd be over there all the time. True. <laughs> True. <laughs> you know, I have come into this town, uh, as you know, when I hit town, it's three o'clock in the morning. Yep. Um, I get up at two and uh, leave the house about twenty after or so, and so it's it's around three when I hit town, and there are many many times when I'll hit town and I'll see that white head of yours. <laughs> <laughs> uh, with, I, I, I with the crew, uh, yeah. with the crew working in the overnight, and uh, and that really uh, that takes a dedication. And you're right, your wife just must be uh, yes. just a saint. She is. She is. She she kept meals hot and and, and accepted my unpredictable schedule. <laughs> yeah, unpredictable <laughs> is one word for it. Nutty is another um, because uh, you have, uh, you know, your job required you to be here in that early portion of the day for, say, an overnight line painting detail or some work snow. underneath the snow. Yeah, the snow. Snow events. All of those things. When you think about everything that has happened and, and everything that you have had to do in this job, what were the most challenging aspects of it? Um. I never looked at it. They, they were great challenges. They, they, they made me a better person. Those challenges actually made me a better person. Yeah. And when those big, deep snowfalls came, that was, and those were, something. yes, those were always something. And, and as I said, in my statement, my, my crew stood behind me, beside me, they, they stood beside me. Um, and I appreciated that. Dr. Neff was here, uh, last hour and uh, he moved here from Flagstaff, Arizona. You think of Arizona, boy, that's desert country. You don't have to deal with snow, but in, in his area in Flagstaff, they do. It's closer yeah. to the Grand Canyon. Um, and, um, we were talking about snow and snow falls and, uh, and we had the story from AccuWeather today that, uh, the, uh, the winter was, uh, a little bit more harsh this year than it has been, but it was nothing like some of those winters from the last 10 or 15 years. No, I didn't once see you, uh, at three o'clock in the morning with a dump truck and, and a bucket truck, uh, or, or a bucket just loading up snow off Philadelphia street, but you've had to do that down through the years. Snowmageddon. I call it snowmageddon. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we've, we've had a lot of that lines breaking, uh, underneath and you, and you have to all of a sudden be there. I recall. Yeah, uh, last Christmas Eve, um, uh, the cog, the cog and I was out just this past Christmas Eve with a sewer backup. Yeah, I remember down by the uh, the point. One down by the point, we had a we had a sinkhole open. Up. That was a sinkhole. We had one just recently down by Mark Arbuckles. It was a sinkhole. That was two years ago. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. When something bursts underground, you generally don't find out about it until. Uh, a few weeks later when the, all the dirt has washed away and, yes. <laughs> and down it, down it comes. So it, it is quite the challenge to do this job, uh, but uh, by golly, I want to thank you because you've been so good to us. Thank you. Uh, good luck to my predecessor. I, I hope he, I hope he does well. He has a lot to learn, but I hope he does well. Yeah. Well, you've, you've, you've already set him up for a pretty good system in place and, uh, and we appreciate uh, all everything that you've done for us down through the years. I'm, I appreciate the Indiana Boroughs residents. They, they've they been great to work with that, and work for. You know, that's one of the things uh, that w we think of officials, and, and you named uh, several of them, uh, and we think of council members, the, the average citizen, uh, and and their cooperation, their knowledge that what you're doing is something that is vital for the town. It, that's really important in that sort of a job, isn't it? I, I even... During all those challenges, I, I set it in my mind, I am working for the residents of Indiana Borough, and, and that's who I need to serve, and I did it to the best of my ability. Yeah, yeah. That summer paving program is always something, too, because you never know when they're going to tell you, hey, we're coming tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and we accommodated. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you've done such a wonderful job. Thank you. You've been so good to us here as well. Thank you. I, well, as I mentioned, I, I appreciated the airtime. Um, to get the public service announcements out and, and again today. So, so what is it? Is is it the honeydew list, or do you to move right into another job, or or what? What do you? Plan um, to do? I've had job offers. I I not. I need time to decompress. Mm -hmm. um, things around the house that I have left go, and now I will spend some more time with the wife too. Of course, yeah. Fairman Estates, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got to bring Fairman Estates back up to snuff. Well, David, again, I appreciate your coming in to visit Thank you us for the time. today. It is, it is our joy and pleasure and has been for many years to work with you, and we appreciate it. Thank you. It appreciate is the it. voice of Indiana County, WCCS 101.1 FM, AM 1160 FM, AM 11.